Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to create this simple exercise in SOLIDWORKS. This is a good example for the beginners and here we will learn some basic features like extruded boss base, extruded cut, rib, fillet, chamfer and how to use delete face command to delete any kind of face. Here we will start with this circular body. You will see this half outer radius 40 inner 30 millimeter. How long we need to extrude? You will see here if you see this section view of this body 85 see and both corner have chamfer 3 into 45 degree ok. Front plane is sketch circle let us make two circle 40 means 80 diameter and the inner one 30 radius that means 60 ok now we need to make half either you can use directly this one also or even though you can trim also so choose trim entity power trim just drag your mouse see it's trimmed and our geometry is still fully defined extrude keep end condition blind and the length 85 make it reverse say yes now let's make this upper drum and this diameter you will see here outer radius 25 inner diameter 30 millimeter and how long we need to extrude one side here 25 another side 40 millimeter and distance from bottom edge 85 and here you will see 20 millimeter from this edge. So let us try right plane is sketch 25 radius means 50 millimeter diameter inner one 30 millimeter ok. Now distance 85 now distance from this outer edge it is 20 millimeter. Now see the drawing is fully defined. Now select extruded boss base. Now in one direction keep end condition blind 40 millimeter. Then keep direction 2 and that is 25 millimeter. See how it is going to move in two directions say yes. Now let us make this flange and uh, this distance from center point to end 70 millimeter C thickness 15 and the length 55 millimeter and 10 millimeter away from the outer edge see here corner there is chamfer 5 millimeter then there is one cutout 20 millimeter R7 10 millimeter from this side. Top plane is sketch, let us say corner rectangle, ok let us define 55 distance from this wall 10 millimeter, ok. Now connect the line go back to the point and see it is automatically going to convert into arc. Twenty millimeter and this radius seven millimeter and the distance from outer edge is ten millimeter. That is it. Now let us make relation. Okay, not this let us make inside relation select the inside wall hold shift key and this line collinear. So our one problem solved now the next distance from origin point to outer one is 70 millimeter. Now this problem also solved let us extrude. Now here two geometries so you have to select one see we selected this one 
keep end condition blind and 15 millimeter this is the R. Now look, let me choose your chamfer. Now the 3 millimeter this one, so I will let us define this two chamfer, okay. Again let me choose chamfer and this time I will choose these two edges and 5 millimeter and 45 degree, say yes. Now let us connect this back side wall, see there is a wall 10 millimeter thick. And this is start from the edge of this block and you will see here 35 millimeter from this end to connect here and 20 millimeter from this end. But here it will connect at degree of 35, 20 millimeter from this corner, corner radius here 10. And uh, also once this connects we will make this ribs also this ribs 10 millimeter 5 millimeter from this corner or from here and tangent at this point you will see here first make rib so select this face this sketch now let's make a okay let's connect make one center line again choose line command connect from here to here, make sure it is construction line, now let us define, I will connect from here to here, choose outer edge convert entity, here also let me choose this outer edge or outer line convert entities, make sure this is vertical line. Okay, let us define, sorry, the smart dimension, this distance from outer edge is 20 millimeter and the angle 135 degree. Twenty millimeter, this one thirty five millimeter. Now see drawing is fully defined, so go to trim, power trim and remove unnecessary lines, so that we will get a closed geometry, extrude. Now this thickness is 10 millimeter, that is it, but this is moving wrong direction, so reverse. Look, fillet 10 millimeter and let me choose this edge. But here one problem came the extra body inside. So, right click and choose here direct editing, and in direct editing, you will find one option delete face. Now, choose here delete face, click delete and patch. Now, let me choose face 1, 2, 3 inside this side say yes now see it is deleted and patched this surface now it's time to create this bottom edge now here this diameter 17 14 and this is parallel to this bottom edge and the distance 60 millimeter from here there is one cutout at 15 millimeter, 7.5 is this, this point and it will connect to this arc or this arc and inside there is one, one more cutout we need for this 25 millimeter, 9 distance from here, 45 degree. So this cutout is going to R65, this is the cutout going to happen inside. 25 millimeter, but first we need to extrude 45 millimeter and this thickness 12.5 and here we fill it, uh, sorry there is a hole 5 diameter at center of this. Now, 
this is going to start from this face a sketch now let's draw two circle here 17 means 34 millimeter Fourteen. Let's make this distance sixty. Hold Shift key and choose these two points horizontal. Now let me connect. Okay, that's the center point. Let me line and I'll connect this line from here to this. Let me choose this one, convert entities, smart dimension. Now distance from here to here, 17.5. That's it, line. I'll connect from here to this. Make sure it is horizontal. Fifteen millimeter. See here. Let's trim this one line. Now I'll connect from here to here. Now a smart dimension, and let's define this angle seventy degree. Now see this drawing is fully defined, but there is one arc. 3 point arc connect from this point to here ok a smart dimension distance it's 9 millimeter r65 why we make this one I'll show you in next step now here we have three close geometry so this is going to be extrude see extruded boss base now first I'll choose 1, here also, 2, 3, 45 millimeter according to drawing, say yes, look, again use the same sketch, extruded cut and in thin feature what we need to cut, this one and this one, <coughs> reverse, What we need to cut, 12.5 is offset, 25 millimeter we need to cut here and the hole, 25 millimeter we need to cut, but here we need to make offset, 12.5, now you will see the preview, it's going to cut 25 but offset 12.5 millimeter, say yes, now look, this is what we like to cut. Select this face, a sketch. First, I will draw one center line or diagonal which help us to locate the hole because hole at center 5 millimeter extruded cut and this cut out is only up to next. Keep end condition next, say yes. See. Now in section B you can see the hole is up to next only. Now what else? This is the balance thing. 14 inside, R14 outside. So outer diameter. And distance 33 millimeter from this corner. And 34 millimeter. So if we first we need to create a plane on this circle, then we will make this one 34 millimeter both side there is one cut out 4 millimeter and here also radius 2 into 45 degree let's make first rib Now let's choose both the lines and tangent and distance from this end to this end 5. See this is fully defined. Go to feature and choose rib. See 
keep end condition both side mid plane uh, sorry 10 millimeters say yes now look the rib is created Two millimeter. I'll choose this face, okay, so that both end is going to create. Now let's make a first. Uh, let me show temporary axis plane. I'll choose this axis. Then for second reference, I'll select top plane. In top plane, keep here parallel. So yes, a sketch on the plane. Outer radius 28, sorry, diameter, inner diameter 14. Now, distance from here to here it's 33 millimeter. Okay. Hold shift keys, origin point and center point, vertical relation. See, this is fully defined in this case. Now, we need to create one more relation. Choose the line and you will find somewhere a midpoint of uh, this edge. Hold shift key. Now, click coincide. So that this is fixed and the edge. Extrude. 1 and 2. 34 millimeter keep end condition mid plane say yes now see let me hide plane now here also unchecked temporary axis this face now here we need to cut 4 millimeter so first I will create a reference axis Four millimeter. Okay. Now select these three lines. Make relation symmetric. Select the out inside edge and this point coincide. Okay. This one is fixed. Now this point and this edge coincide. Now the drawing is fully defined. So go to feature and choose extruded cut and keep end condition through all. Say yes. Let's apply. Okay. Let me hold, check all the ribs. Sorry, chamfer. And I'll apply yellow gloves. Inside also, I'll apply yellow. So that we will get a perfect, we get to know that so this is the simple tutorial for the beginners, those who want to learn solid works. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works. Thanks for watching.